Right now, ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us with the check of the day on Wall Street and kind of a quiet morning so far on Wall Street, Richard, to start the new week. Scott, I would have to say that's absolutely accurate. The biggest move of any of the three indices we've seen this morning is less than one-tenth of one percent. I think we call that a snooze, probably. But in Trump morning, uh, there was some pretty big movement. Uh, in Trump morning, a gain and loss net of 108 points. But as of right now, we are going absolutely nowhere. Let's take a look at the nowhere numbers, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. There's the Dow. That's the biggest move, up 7 one-hundredths of 1%, 1 not quite 16 points, at 23,437.77 on volume of 318 million shares. Now the NASDAQ, also an up arrow, 3 points, 4 one-hundredths of 1%, 1 6,753.91. 6 that on volume of 688 million shares. And be it ever so humble, the S&P up two one hundredths, one half of 1% at 2,582.81. The General Electric Company has been in business for 125 years and an icon of American business. Well, guess what? GE today came out and announced a dividend cut of 50%, five zero. They're cutting their dividend in half Obviously, the company continues to struggle. They've got different management, but they simply have not been able to keep their eye on the ball. So far this year, in an up market, shares of the General Electric Company are down by 35%. So GE certainly was an icon once upon a time, and they're going to try and do their best to get back by cutting the dividend. Obviously, they'll have more cash to work with. They're also cutting the size of their board of directors from 18 people to 12 people. And Scott, we'll see how that all works out. But when you only cut your dividend three times in 125 years, it gets my attention, I have to say. Yeah, people will notice for sure. Absolutely. We'll see you again at 5 o'clock with the closing numbers. I will be here. All right, Richard, thanks so much for the update. You are welcome.